Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are addressing the diastasis recti with our, our core program. It is all about the diastasis recti but I will just dip in a little more deeper into the subject and we'll do specifically exercises for it um, so that um, everybody understands uh, how to check for it and so and so forth. Now in order for us to check for it we are going to Lay down on the floor, you can come down on the floor and you are going to keep your feet as if for uh, core crunches, for crunches, uh, close to your hip bones. From here you'll take anywhere from one to three fingers depending on how far your separation is. So start with two, somewhere in the middle uh, and bring them uh, first below your belly button and then above your belly button. You will stick your fingers between your abdominal muscles. You have TBA um, muscles on each side of your uh, belly button, so you will <laughs> stick your belly button, uh, stick your fingers between the two muscles, and you will lift your uh, head and your shoulders off the floor. From that, your uh, abs will protrude, the muscles will protrude and will be hard, it will uh, fire up. So you see how much there is room between the fingers. When you stick the fingers between the muscles, you'll be able to tell where the abs, the ab muscles end. Let me know if you're getting that description. So from here, you let's... and come back down, you're able to check here, check above, uh, and take it from there. For me, it's been between one and two fingers on different days under the belly button and nothing above the uh, belly button, so that's where I am. Maybe I, I, I was carrying low during my pregnancy, so there wasn't much above. Some people have more above the belly button and less underneath. For everybody, it's different, and you can definitely close the gap or uh, minimize the gap. All right, <clears throat> we are going to get started with a few deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. Roll the shoulders back and down, chin parallel to the floor, extending the tailbone slightly down so you feel your belly firing up. Optional for this uh, class today, you will need, I will list them below stretchy bands in a dip station, a wall and a chair. This class is for anybody that's looking to properly engage the core. Now we're beginning to pull the belly in and slightly up. Let's tuck the tailbone under, pelvic tilt, pull the belly in and up, and release, and again. Release. We're going to start warming up with moderate side lunges, so not all the way down, engage the belly, come back up, engage the belly, come back up. So don't let your belly hang out, don't let this whole belly hang out, keep it engaged. If any exercise is too challenging for you, the belly protrudes then back off this exercise and come back to it at another time once you have worked up to it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten opposite side. One, Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and I'm placing my hands on my belly to just make sure I'm not forgetting. Last one, 10. From here, we're gonna come onto the wall and place the lower back onto the wall and we are going to tuck the tailbone under again, pelvic tilt. <clears throat> With a wall squat. Pull the belly in and up, hold. And release, hold. Release, hold. Release, two more. And release. From here, Let's take a plank, pull the belly in and up, hold your plank, really engaging your core. To Chaturanga. So hands are on the level of, <clears throat> just be below your nipple level. And you're going to lower down Chaturanga, pull the belly in and up, press back up, elbows in. So it's not a push up, it's a close push up triceps push up, chaturanga in yoga, pressing back up. Sorry if this is repetitive for those of you that have been with me for a while. I'm gearing the class towards everybody, basically. Let's go for 10 chaturangas. One. Five. and either sit on your chair or stand in a stand in a soft knee stance semi squat and we will bring the hands onto the legs and pull the belly in and release I will put in the descriptions that this class should ideally be done on empty stomach because we're doing stomach vacuums and we're starting small and we'll increase over time. This is a 30-day program. I'll try to provide 20 to 24 classes from this program. So it will be progressive. Stomach vacuums, press, pulling the belly in and creating a vacuum as much as you can. Those are going to be very effective for anybody including postpartum mamas <sighs> release after surgery abdominal surgery after trauma to the belly to the midsection after years of not engaging the core poor posture <sighs> we're gonna do a few more stomach vacuums And you can, uh, you can come in front of a mirror just to see how you're doing. We're hollowing the stomach and you can experiment with doing it on chair too if you're standing. Either both ways are good. I, I like to do things. In an engaged way standing uh, but you can work your way through from chair to standing and I think for today or for right now this is enough grab your stretchy band and we're going to bring it around the knees this is part of our this was part of our warm-up because engaged breathing really will get you sweaty and we're gonna go for Partial squat, so you don't have to go into a deep squat because we're looking for a, a absolute core engagement. Partial squat, walking to the side, walking to the side, walking to the side, opposite side. Now 
let's go. I'm feeling the work. It requires real focus to work in the core. So if you're doing it right, you may be out of breath. Just like I am. This is more of a core exercise than it is a leg and butt exercise because of the focused work on the core. From here we're going to do side, st side to st side step ups. So you come into a, a step like such as the last one and you'll go one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, we're activating the obliques too. Last one. And stay with your band. You're gonna come down onto the floor, lay down, first coming onto your side and then onto your back and bring your band again where it was around your knees and we will place the feet bow hip width apart lift the body off the floor pull the belly in and up and release now when your belly is pulling in and up you're pulling the navel down towards the spine and up please see the other parts of this program for there is descriptions all throughout the program so you will need to do even if you don't do all the classes you will need to do a lot of them in order to get your belly in check let's lift the body off the floor pull the belly in and up open the knees out close them lower down so we'll do 10 of those let's go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. You come up and do three pulses and lower down. Let's do ten of those on your own count. Focus on your breath, focus on your abdominal connection. The, the belly presses. Let's demonstrate the belly presses. In and up. There is the relaxed belly. There is the pressed in belly and up. All right, let's do 10 more with three openings of the legs. So we're working also on the abductors.
pressing the lower back into the floor Every time you lower down, press the lower back into the floor so that you're activating the core properly. Six. Then you can remove the band. Or actually, let's keep the band and see how that works for the next exercise. Let's keep the band and down. It's optional, of course. Pull the belly in and up, and we'll open, stack the knees on top of each other, and have this alignment. Open open, pull the belly in and up, open the knee, clamshell. And let's go then on the other side. Now we can remove the band from the legs, place it to the side, grab the other edges of your feet, happy baby, to stretch the hips, to relax the lower back. And we'll move on to our dip station. You can improvise between chairs, but I would recommend you getting it because it comes in handy for all the home workouts we're doing. So, and you can skip that if you don't have a dip station and just forward the workout. Skip over to the next. From here, hanging. So we're going to suspend our body hanging from the dip station and pulling the belly in and up again. Great, for the next one we're gonna bend the knees, hanging and we'll do a pull up, five to 10 pull ups. I'm at five, resting. And done. Um, From here we're gonna take a moment to rest. Let's stretch stretch the hamstrings, forward bend, legs in front of you, flex the feet. This is our resting position, soles of the feet together. Stretching and now we'll take come on to all fours and you can see 
hang, letting the belly hang. Pull the belly in. Let's pull it in three times, resting in between. Keeping a normal spinal curve. Two. Three. Come on to your side. Lay back down onto the floor. And here we will extend the right leg down, gliding the heel out, pulling the belly in and up. Bring the heel back in towards you. We've been doing that in the previous classes. So if it is your first class with me, just make sure to press your lower back into the floor, pull the belly in and up, glide the heel engaging the core. Opposite side. Excellent. And come on to your side. And come up. Forward bend. Resting time. out, forward bend, let's bring the left ankle above the right knee, bending forward, flexing both feet for a hip opener. of stomach vacuums in a cross-legged easy pose to kasana. Rounding the back and drawing the navel in. It will get better with time. Especially postpartum mamas. There has been quite a bit of stretching here, so it takes a while. And from here, we have a strengthening exercise without weights. We'll do deadlifts without weights, just to make sure that the form is proper. And now you don't have to touch the floor. You can touch an obstacle on the floor, such as a ball, a chair, a vase or something you have on the floor so that you're not going all the way down, but that will strengthen your uh, lower back and it will bring awareness to your midsection. So the move is standing on the right leg, lower down, pull the belly in, come back up. Five, keeping the back straight here, opposite side, pull the belly in and up. For the neck exercise, we are going to do regular squats with awareness of the core. So take your squat position, 
take a few breaths in feet slightly pointing out lower down come back up core connected when you come all the way up you can press the hips forward which allows you to realign your hip alignment to balance your hip alignment or come back to proper hip alignment and it also allows you to connect the core let's go for 20 to 30 so go at your own pace Fifteen. It is very, very challenging, so that's why I'm taking nice breaks in between so I can come back to my breath and make sure that I'm engaging with all my might. <laughs> squats on purpose so that we can focus more on the core and let's do a few more stomach abdominal engagements tibia engagement without any exercises so we're coming touch retouching up on our technique belly pulling in and up release one more time in and up Release, one more time in and up, release, grab your chair, take side plank, hand underneath the shoulder, feet stacking on top of each other, pull the belly in and up and hold your side plank, opposite side, From here we are going to take wide stance and we're just going to move side to side the hips are drawing figure eight moving into the more dancey part of this class the flowy part the bar part figure eight uh, side lunges reaching side to side going a little deeper let's hold hold good from here plie
Side to side ridge is in plie. Both hands over the head, palms pressing, reaching side to side, side bends. Both sides of the torso elongating. Lower down, hands over the legs. Let's lift one heel, opposite heel. Lower down in your plie and let's do pulses. Try to engage your belly. Not completely, not the full squeeze, but just keep it, keep the TVA, the transverse abdominis muscles in the deep abdominals, deep abdominal wall. And pulsing. Let's pulse 50 times. One, two, three, four, and so forth. Twenty. Thirty. the right foot out, left foot in, arms out, hips on top of each other in the same plane, reach ahead of you, lower down, triangle pose, lengthen both sides of the torso. Coming back up, opposite side reach, open the right hip, externally rotating the right hip, shoulders away from the ears, drop the shoulders away from the ears, drop the shoulder blades down into the back. Lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthen the right and the left side of the torso. Coming up and we'll do figure eights with the hips slowly walking the feet closer to each other. Figure eights. From here, coming into a standing pose, feet hip width apart, side to side, torso movements moving from the belly button up. And now let's move the hips, a few more figure eights, let's change the direction. Your body is moving. Which also engages the obliques. Great. From here, we are going to go into the bar style classes. For the bar style, feel free to hold a table or a chair or a bar. I will not because I like the movements and I like to add my own balancing awareness. So feel free to use the chair. If you absolutely do not need a chair, don't use a chair. It's better to develop balance. Balance is one of the most important fitness qualities we can have. So side cross lunge, you're going to step in a cross lunge and draw a circle with the left leg, cross lunge, draw a circle, cross lunge, draw a circle, cross lunge, four, five, For the next 10 months, we're gonna go cross lunge, pull the knee, 
up so that the core activates pulling flattening the core cross lunge three Let's go to the other side, same thing, starting with the circles and moving into the knee apps. Then, knee ups. All right, going into back lunge, leg lift, engaging the core. Now you can only tap your foot off the floor if that's how far you're at right now. Check in with the mirror. You can work out in front of the mirror and just always have an idea of where your core is at, what your belly is doing. Back lunge. back lunge, inner foot lifts up towards the sky, back lunge, inner foot, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Oh, it's hard work. Not doesn't look as hard as our my interview yoga classes, but it is. <laughs> it is hard work. Opposite side. One inner foot lifts up. Two. Four. Six. Seven. and ten and from here we are just going to go into yogic squat white stance feet pointing out lower down and hands in prayer elbows pressing into your knees try to straighten the back if you can now for some of you you may have to be on your toes and that's okay you have to do what you have to do from here lower down and we are going to go for the last belly activation exercise laying on your back side coming onto your side laying on the back after coming to the side from here activate pull the belly in and up and then pull the toes in towards each other hold release belly in and up so the feet are rolling out you pull the belly in and up once the belly is in and up pause squeeze pull the toes in so the feet rolling in towards each other hips rotating in 
let's go. And just one more time. one last time. Release. You can check your diastasis again. Your abdominal separation. Soles of the feet together, open the knees out. In reclining Badakonasana butterfly pose. right hand over the belly, left hand over the heart, hold here, stay here, this is our Shavasana, so stay here for as long as you need to, allowing yourself to become one with the moment. Losing your eye consciousness and becoming one with the universe, with everything around you, Basically, understanding how a baby, a newborn baby is. A newborn baby has no eye consciousness. It has consciousness of the in entire universe's a oneness. And slowly, a baby becomes an individual and develops eye consciousness, awareness of oneself. And it is a process. But that shows you that our true nature is very connected to the universe as a whole because we come out of the womb not aware of ourselves, but aware of everything as us, as it is all us. So stay here in the consciousness of a newborn, or in your true consciousness, of understanding everything is interconnected, losing yourself for a moment into the whole, becoming one with the whole, with the universe, with existence. And that is a very calming sensation, that under, understanding that we are all interconnected and we are in essence all one. Namaste. <laughs>